Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is the next problem in my Sudoku problem series. This is a between line problem. This was actually one of the first problems I created, but I just never got around to recording it. So we'll see if you like it. Um, yeah, between lines. So the way between lines work is the digits that are placed on the line must be strictly between the digits that are placed in the circles um, at the end of the line. So they're the rules. You must place the digits that are um, into the X's that are um, provided on the grid. Don't worry about placing digits anywhere else. They're not required. Um, so it's only those five you need to place. There is a link to this problem below where you can give this a shot for yourself. Um, feel free, oh, pardon me. Feel free to pause the video um, and uh, I'll be back in a few seconds to explain how this one works. Okay, so there's a couple of different ways you can approach this one. Um, I'm going to show you the much a bit more long-winded method with some over-pencil marking, but hopefully it'll mean you understand it better. So if we look at these two, uh, the, the digits that can go into the circles, we know that they can't be 1, 2, or 9. So these can be only from 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or 8. So these are the, the bounds of what could possibly go in the circles. Now, we don't have much information about these cells, but we do have a fair bit about these three. So um, these can't be one, two, or three, because if these were one or two, then they could not be between these. The minimum that you can put into those circles is three. So these have to be higher than three. They also have to be lower than eight, because otherwise these wouldn't you wouldn't have a digit higher. The digits in the circle, one must be lower than all of the digits on the line, one must be higher. So these can only be from four, five, six, or seven in order for there to be a lower digit and a higher digit in the circles. However, there's no six here because of the six in the middle. So these are four, five, and seven. So one of these has to be lower than four, five, seven, which from the own available options is only three. And one of them has to be higher than four, five, seven, which from the available options is only eight. So this means that this is a three, eight pair. And this three means that this is the eight and this is the three. Now, from because this is four, five, and seven, we can't put four in those. So that becomes the four. The five means that this is the seven and this is the five. And that is the solution to the problem. Not particularly complex, but you need to understand understand how the digits that are placed on the line force the the two in the circles out from the line and the digits in the circles force the digits on the line in. Um, quite an interesting little problem. I do like the way between lines work, though I haven't played with them very much in the last nine months. Um, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. I hope you found this one interesting. And as always, good luck with your solving.